In this video, we'll demonstrate the use of the optimal equipment placement function using voltage regulators. The function can be used to resolve voltage violations in an existing network by the placement of voltage regulators at optimum positions along feeders, whilst at the same time ensuring that the overall installation and operating costs are minimized. Study case 10.2 should be activated. This study case is for the 24th of January when the voltage levels are at their lowest. Let's first run a quasi-dynamic simulation for this state to assess the voltage profile. We'll set the step size to 15 minutes. The results can be viewed in a network model manager. By sorting on this column, we can see that feeder FD2505 experiences the lowest minimum voltage in the network. Let's create a plot of minimum voltage for this feeder. we can see that the accepted minimum voltage limit of 0.96 per unit is violated for a number of hours in the middle of the day. In the feeder diagram, the pale blue colours indicate minimum voltages below 0.95 per unit. We'll now return to the Distribution Network Optimization Toolbar and use this icon to open the Optimal Equipment Placement command. The equipment type is set to voltage regulators and the feeder of interest is selected. We'll save the resulting changes in a new network variation. On the equipment page, we can enter the details of the step voltage regulator type and element. If we look at the step voltage regulator, we can see that on the optimal equipment placement page, the costs are all defined. On the constraints page of the command dialog, we specify the required upper and lower voltage limits. On the time sweep page, the command is configured to carry out the calculation for a single day using a time step size of 15 minutes. Now the command can be executed. Depending on the complexity of the network, the optimization can take some time. When the analysis is complete, we can see that a step voltage regulator has been added to the feeder. Here. These plots illustrate the improvements in the feeder resulting from the addition of the voltage regulator. In the lower plot, the dark blue curve shows the minimum voltages before the optimization where the voltage drops too low, as we saw before. The pale blue curve shows how the voltage levels have been managed through the introduction of the step voltage regulator. In the upper plot, we see how the maximum voltages are also affected during the same period, but are still well below the upper threshold of 1.04 per unit. We can create another plot to see the tapping activity of the newly placed step voltage regulator. Reports enable us to look at the results in more detail. Here, we see the cost information for the solution. And this report shows the impact on the network. Now the voltages are within limits for all time periods.